growing up in Canada, who were some of your inspirations that got you on this journey to become a professional wrestler? Um, I'd always been a fan of, of pro wrestling in general, but then I started martial arts when I was like around 10 and young. So I was really into the guys, the, the most of the indie guys I saw who were doing a great job of mixing of that style, like Loki and Amazing Red who had that, that match from Ring of Honor in, in probably the early 2000s that everyone remembers. Which, one of the things that got me thinking, wow, I could mix up the martial arts and the wrestling and do something like that. And I, that's where I'm going, that's what I hope I have achieved. Where do you study both pro wrestling and martial arts? Do you go to the same school for that or do you go to different places? It's different places, but I mean, they mesh into each other pretty well. Like it's all, um, the important thing, honestly, is having a good surface where I can do whatever I want if I want to practice. Uh, wrestling moves in a Taekwondo mat, that's fine if I want to practice Taekwondo on the, in a wrestling ring, that works too. That's the beauty of it. How was your family like when they first heard that you wanted to be a professional wrestler? What was their reaction? Well, it, it honestly to my mom and probably to my brother who wrestled too for a while, it, it had been pretty clear for a long, long time that I was going to be a pro wrestler. Like my mom probably tried to stop me for the first two weeks when I was seven and I started doing wrestling moves all over the house and then she, she she just gave up and I guess everyone had probably figured it out by then that this is what I would do. What does it mean for you to be here for Tier 1 Wrestling? It's a debut show, you know, you get the chance to debut your talent uh, in front of New York fans. What does all that mean to you? In the uh, main event, just all of it, what does it mean for you? Right, a uh, big part of pro wrestling is just trying to make a name for myself and build a reputation, you know, and let the people know that if you see Mike Bailey, you're, you're, you know, you're getting at least something entertaining, something fun, and that a, a promotion like this on their first ever show would put me in the main event, that, that means a lot, that means they, you know, that means a company has trust in me, and that's pretty much the goal with wrestling. How have you been able to combine your martial arts skills? to your skill sets that people are able to see in the ring, you know, how are you able to have both be a professional wrestler and a taekwondo artist? It comes pretty naturally. I think like every every other wrestler who's done like either, you know, amateur wrestling or even like just, just the bodybuilding guys, it sort of shows, like it sort of... Whatever, whatever sport you do or martial art or something sort of becomes you after a while and it sort of shapes your movement, it shapes your body. Like even if I wanted to exclude the, all the Taekwondo from my wrestling, I couldn't because it's it's how I move, it's you know how my body works, it functions like it's learned from the fighting position of Taekwondo and I've built from there and everything else just sort of bloomed from there. It's sort of how you learn to move as a kid, sort of shapes you, you know what I mean? Shapes your body and shapes how you're going to move. Uh, well, how would you say that you've evolved from your first days of professional wrestling to this point in time right now? How would you say that you've evolved either skill-wise or uh, how would you say you've evolved? Um, I've, I've matured, honestly. I, I, when I started wrestling I was 16, so obviously I was, you know, all, all the things that usually come with age. Uh, patience, you know, a style of what not to do and when you, you know, when you need to do less to end up doing more and, you know. Um, as a sense of more long-term thinking, you know what I mean? Just, just. It's a, that's a big question to ask, by the way. How have you grown up in the past eight years? It's a big question. I'm trying to answer it quickly, which is pretty hard. But yeah. And uh, any message for the fans at home that are watching this live at Tier One Wrestling? Any message for the fans? At uh, thank home? you for watching it. Just, just we appreciate your support. Uh, indie wrestling is built on you guys watching A and B, sharing it with friends talking about it with other people and just just helping this beautiful thing grow. Well, thank you so much sir. Thank you.